adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. You know, I'm kind of sorry I got mixed up in this election thing. Seems to me we've been at that women's club day and night for the past week. I'm beginning to feel guilty about letting Ozzy eat out so much. Why? Well, he's thought we got to like the idea. Oh, gee, I never thought of that. Do you suppose Joe's beginning to like the idea? I wouldn't be surprised. Every man likes a little freedom. Oh, well, I don't mind giving him a little freedom as long as I know where he is all the time. <laughs> well, you know where he is now. No, he hasn't reported in for the last hour. <laughs> but you know where he is. He's working. Oh, yes, of course. He gives me his paycheck every week. Harriet. Hmm? You think a man like Joe would stoop to forgery? <laughs> Come on, Clara, we'll be late. Hey, don't turn on the television set. I'm trying to study. There's a program I want you to see. What's that for? Just watch the screen. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know this young man? Hey, that's a picture of me. We're trying desperately to locate him to inform him that he is the winner of $60 million in the Tasmanian sweepstakes. What the heck is that? Well, congratulations, David. You're rich. If David Nelson doesn't claim this money within the next three minutes, it will go to his brother, Ricky. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, Joe? Joe? What is this, anyway? Television. Come on, I'll show you. You mean you built this thing all by yourself? Well, the man at the radio store helped me, but I put it together. Uh, how's it work? You know how a radio works? Well, yeah, sort of. Well, this works the same way, except it's a picture. Here, it tells about it in this book. You mean you can actually broadcast a television program with this thing? Well, yeah. Well, it's like a closed circuit. You have to have it connected directly to the television set. We have this one connected to your set upstairs. Well, where's the sound come from? Well, from that microphone. Yeah, here it is, right here. Ricky got this picture of you out of the album, and I held it up in front of the camera. We've got a whole show cooked up. We're going to surprise Pop. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Hey, wait a minute. Pop just came in the front door. Are you sure that's your father? Yeah. Have you ever heard my mom tell me not to slam the door? Yeah. Well, I inherited that from Pop. <laughs> hi, Pop. Oh, hi, Dave. Uh, where's your mother? Uh, she's down at the women's club. Gee, so late again? Well, they're having their annual elections this week. Uh, do you mind if I watch television? No, go ahead. I'm just browsing through the paper here. Well, would you repeat the last part of that question? Hey, it's Ricky. So it is. D did you know about this? Uh, Harriet. Uh, she's down at the women's club. Oh. What does the formula H2O stand for? Water! Oh, thanks, Pop. Water. <laughs> you have just reached the second plateau. Thank you. And I owe it all to that grand old gentleman, my father. <laughs> Where's this coming from, Dave? And don't tell me the zoo. Well, it's coming from our basement. Joey Randolph's got a television camera down there. Gee. Just made one mistake, though. What's that? Well, they should have used a more recent picture of me. <laughs> it's a good likeness, though. <laughs> this is the wonder of the age, ladies. This little miracle slicer will slice cucumbers, carrots, celery, <laughs> and fingers. Do we have to have that on, Pop? Now, with each and every well, you don't want to hurt the kids' feelings. Well, how are they going to know? I'll tell them. What are you, spy or something? I just want to check the reception. Oh, I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi, dear. Oh, hi. Uh, uh, would you turn the television set down to your mother? Uh, uh, where are you? Well, I'm still at the women's club. It's going to be a long meeting, and I was wondering if you were getting hungry. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, you know me. I've been hungry for about an hour. Oh, it's a shame. Well, the meeting's still on. I hate to suggest this, but why don't you and the boys go out and get something to eat? Oh, okay. We'll stop over at the, the drugstore again. 
Oh, this is the last week of these darned elections, thank goodness. Yeah, well, uh, okay, I'll see you. Bye. Uh, bye. Thanks. Good evening, Mr. Nelson. Good evening. Hi, Joe. Do you mind if I join you for dinner? No, sit down. I was glad to have you. It's on the menu. Oh, a lot of things, but most of them are crossed out, so you'll probably end up eating a cheese sandwich again tonight. How'd you get there? Well, that's what I ordered. Looks like cheese. Oh, I guess it must be. <laughs> what do you have, Mr. Nelson? Oh, I guess I'll have a cheese sandwich again. That's what I figured, so I saved you an outside cut. <laughs> no more straight men. Where are the boys? Well, uh, they're eating dinner at the drive-in uh, with your son. Oh, I gotta tell you about my boy, Joe. You know what he built? Oh, oh uh, yeah, I, I just saw it. Gee, it's great. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, and it works beautifully, too. Wait a minute. Uh, are we talking about the same thing, the television camera? Yeah. Gee, uh, kids can do anything nowadays, can't they? Uh, anything except get their mothers to come home and cook dinner. Uh, how long do you think that thing's going to last at the women's club? Well, according to Clara, just to the end of the week. No. No, it can't be. Oh, hi, Fred. That's right, Fred Edwards. You're Joe Randolph, aren't you? That's right. And this is... Uh, no, don't tell me. Ozzy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I could never forget a name like Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy Dipple. No, no, no. Oh, sure. Sit down, Fred. Join us. Well, thanks. Say, how long has it been since we've seen you? Hey, it must be at least five years. Closer to ten. It's uh, closer to twenty, but what's the difference? <laughs> how long have you been in town? Oh, a couple of days. You know, uh, I'd have thought both of you guys would have been married by now. We are? We are. Well, then, how come you're eating dinner here? Oh, well, this isn't a, a regular procedure, although it has been this week. So this is election week at the women's club, and the wives are kind of busy. Here's your cheese sandwich, Mr. Nelson. That was a little stale, so I toasted it. <laughs> what are you doing here? I came in to eat dinner. Well, what are you laughing at us for? Well, I'm not married. I eat out all the time. But uh, being single has its compensations. So uh, you guys are hooked, huh? What do you mean, hooked? We're both happily married and have nice families. <laughs> okay, I'm not knocking it. It's just that it isn't for me. Uh, tell them what your boy just did, Joe. <laughs> it really isn't anything. Well, sure it is. Tell them. Well, he built a television camera. No kidding. How old is he? 45? <laughs> 17. Uh, who are you trying to kid? He, he did. I, I saw it, and, and it works. It works great, too. Please, Ozzy, I believe you're happily married. I'm talking about Joe's son. Yeah, okay. He's happily married, too. <laughs> he, well, he built a, a television camera. Yeah, Joe did? <laughs> no, my son did. And if you don't believe me, we'll arrange for you to see it. I'd love to. When can I come over for dinner? Well, tonight. Hey, uh, will you wrap up another cheese sandwich, please? <laughs> What did I tell you? Terrific, isn't it? Hey, it certainly is. What are you laughing at? I was just thinking, what would happen if your wives came home and turned on the television set upstairs, and there you were? Well, what do you mean, there we were where? In a nightclub, dancing with a couple of blondes. <laughs> <laughs> well, even if they saw it on television? No, no, they'd never believe it. Even if they saw it on television? <laughs> Now, wait a minute, let me get this straight. You mean we'd make believe this was a nightclub and then photograph it, and the wives would think we were actually in a nightclub? Yeah. Yeah, can't you just see their faces? <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing, it'd give them a darn good scare. Yeah, it'd teach them to come home and get our dinners instead of neglecting us the way they've been doing the last week. It's a great idea, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs>